This presentation, I will be discussing some automatic electric and Western electric coin collect, coin return relays used in three slot and some single slot payphones. This video does not encompass all of the different variations. This is what I have in my collection, and it'll be um, representative of the different mechanical types of relays that was used. However, Automatic Electric made a multitude of coin relays for different payphones, as well as Western Electric had on the dual coil type relays uh, for the gray Western payphones, the early ones. Um, they look very similar to this, uh, but yet they were made by Gray or Western Electric. I'll hold up each relay individually and show you some of the uniqueness about it. So here is a Western Electric 1A type coil that's used in the 1C, 1D type payphones or the 2C, 2D payphones. This is a single winding uh, relay and it only has two terminals, the ground terminal and black, so you would put a yellow and black wire here if you had a uh, 1D, 1C phone. The flap here is different on the 1A series phones than it is on the 233 type earlier phones. I have two relays here. This is the one that would be found in a 233 type of a phone. And this is also a Western Electric relay. It has your yellow and black lead. Um, actually, I'm sorry, they would have different colored leads because the 200 series phones are different color. But it has a dial shunting contact so that if this relay is in its normal state with the flap up, these two contacts are shorted together, preventing you from uh, able to dial a call. You could dial the dial, but the contacts in the dial is being shorted out by this. If you deposit a coin, and drop the flap, the short between these two terminals goes away and then you can rotary dial your call. The <clears throat> That's the big difference um, electrically. The flap here on this particular um, relay and the single 1A relay, if we look at it here, the flaps are different sizes. They're different um, functions. You can mechanically put the 1A in a hopper for this other relay. However, <clears throat> it will not function correctly because the hopper is narrower for the 230 series than it is for the 1C, 1D series. I will show the <clears throat> hopper in a moment. So these two relays are very close in appearance and uh, I'll show the, the functions are one and it's the same on both relays with the exception of the dial shorting contacts. So on the 1A relay or the other relay, this device right here connects up to a place on the hopper and this is a hopper out of a 1A or I'm sorry a 1D 1C phone. So right here this little flap thing which is used to collect or return the coin the yellow goes into this little square hole here and then depending on the direction that this goes will operate the flap one way or the other. This is controlled because there's a magnet here under this and I don't know if I can actually get now it's molded in there so you can't see it. Uh, it's molded in there too so I can't show you the plastic because it's actually kind of molded in or glued in here. Depending on the polarity that the coil is set at will operate this yellow thing one way or the other way and It's hard to mechanically do this here um, But it does operate that way so the polarity and the magnet will operate this one way or the other way and then 
um, of course, the phone has to, the, in order for the relay to operate, there's a set of contacts here that if the flap is up in this position, it opens up the circuit to the coil so it will not collect the return. If you drop the flap down, then the contact will uh, operate, and then the polarity of the central office power will either one direction or the, the reverse the other direction. So this function is the same for the automatic electric single slot relays, which I have right here, of course, same exact concept. And I, the hopper, which this is a hopper that would be found in a 230 series phones. This particular hopper has had a screw put into it. <clears throat> so this was used in a post pay only pay phone. I don't know if it was an AE or Western hopper. Um, I believe that this is a automatic electric hopper. So the coin would drop through and then in this case go into the, the coin box. So if you had the relay for the 230 series type phones and you put it in here, and I have the screws into the side so it won't slide in, it goes in like that. <clears throat> and then the coin will operate uh, the flap through this uh, hole here in the hopper. This is a hopper that's used in a uh, 1D, 1C phone. And because the 1C, 1D was never used for postpay service, they were either prepay or semi-prepay. Um, you got the flap, the relay coil, a uh, little... Uh, I don't know what the technical term of it is that operates this. So right now with the flap here, uh, and this would be the way it would go, this would be the rear of the phone, the flap has got where the coin would go into the return. And if I throw the flap the other direction and we look inside of it and I operate this here, inside which you can maybe see then the coil would go into the coin box the hoppers on the automatic electric uh, 120 series phones they do the same exact function they're just slightly different the western phone and the ae is like the automatic electric on the 120 series took a photograph of a western phone and reversed the negative because everything is 180 degrees out of uh, direction with the western phones. I have a relay and hopper for a 89 series payphone LPA or LPB <clears throat> This particular relay um, is relatively useless for today's applications. This was a special application uh, relay for a central office equipped with a very special coin trunk that I don't believe any of them exist anymore. So this is uh, an item that <clears throat> if you're looking for a cosmetic relay, this is great. Uh, electrically it's not going to be functioning. It has a small coil that uh, responds to reverse polarity of the phone line and then it has a large coil that is used to refund the money. In this case it's using 110 volts negative. Most of your coin trunks if they're uh, intelligent coin trucks use plus and minus to collect and return. This one uses minus to return and then the line voltage of their phone line to collect the phone. So I have the relay sitting in the hopper arrangement and this is a hopper for the twin coil relays found in <clears throat> the Western Electric and Automatic Electric phones. There may be a slight difference between the manufacturers, but that's pretty much what it is. So the relay here, <clears throat> this is the, the part vein that goes into the vein of the um, hopper part here. So when a coin goes down, it flops it down. And then this is the collect coil. I'm sorry, this is the collect coil. That's the return coil. 
and then it's got a few contacts in order to set the relay um, and to notify the phone, the electronics in the phone, um, of the position of the, the coin relay. Here's the relay that is used in the LPA or LPB 86 series phones. This relay um, is used for a post pay application. <clears throat> so you can go off hook in the phone, get dial tone, dial your call when the party answers, then it uh, opens up the transmitter lead in the phone so you cannot speak to the person that you called until you deposit the coin. <clears throat> it's similar to the previous relay. <clears throat> However, it's got more contacts on it, but mechanically it's interchangeable and other than having three windings, just two windings here and one here, um, this is a functional relay <clears throat> or a relay that can be made functional in today's pay phones if you have the ability to detect reverse polarity for ANSI supervision. This is the schematic of the relay that's used in the uh, 86 series post pay pay phones. And I can see that there's the three windings, 2900 ohm, 77, <clears throat> and 83. Here are three hoppers that are found in the 233 series or the single slot 120 or 1C1D. This particular hopper right here is what would be found in the 233 series phone. And this particular one, I believe, was an automatic electric. Then we have the Western electric hopper that is used in the 1C, 1D, 2C, 2D. And this would have a 1A type relay attached to it. And then here's the hopper that's used in an automatic electric 120 series or some of the Cocot phones. Um, the automatic electric one's a little simpler for me to show you how the flaps work inside of it. So being upside down, you can see in here that we have a flap that this would be the one that would go into the coin box. So if a coin was to be collected, this flap would operate and the coin would drop in the box. If there was the coin was to be refunded, it would operate this flap and go into the, the return. The concept is the same on the other uh, hoppers. It's just they're designed differently and they're used in different types of phones. Concept is still the same.